Hello, my name is Ilder Vitor Lima Pereira. I'm going to present the paper final, Faster Fully Homomorphic Encryption Instantiated with NTrue and LWE. This is a joint work with Charlotte Bonte, Ilya Ilyashenko, John Gion Park, and Professor Nigel Smart. The starting point of this work is the observation that most FHE schemes are based on the RWE problem. And what this problem allows us to do is to sample pairs of polynomials in some polynomial ring with integer polynomials of degree bounded by some parameter n. And these pairs have a special structure, but they look random modulo some integer q. But there is this kind of similar problem, which is the n true, that allows us to sample, to sample one single polynomial also with a hind, hidden structure, and that also looks random modulo uh, q. But now we have one single polynomial instead of one pair of polynomials. So if we could somehow replace the RWE problem by the Andrew problem in these FHE schemes, the intuition is that we should use half of the memory and maybe half of the running time, right? However, the Andrew problem is a bit more complicated than the RLWE problem because for the RLWE, we have uh, essentially this key recovery attacks that take exponential time in n. But for the n-true problem, on top of that, we also have this sublattice attacks. And the hardness of this problem varies very strongly uh, on q. Right? It depends very strongly on q. So the picture we have is the following. When q is linear in n, the sublattice attacks are very uh, expensive and then the n-true problem is hard. But as we start to increase q, the sublattice attacks become very easy at, and then at some point, it, the sublats attack even takes uh, polynomial time. So the entry problem becomes easy, right? So there is this uh, turning point where the, the sublats attacks cost essentially the same as the key recovery attack, and we call this the fatigue point. So when we want to construct the schemes based on the entry, we have to choose the parameters on this region. If we choose above the fatigue point, we are in this overstretched regime, and then the security of the n true is not the same. So this means that we are much more limited with the choice of parameters and when compared to the RLWE. So the contributions of this paper are the following. We use the n true problem to construct FHE with parameters that lie outside of the overstretched regime. So our parameters are always here. And then, um, so using the n true, we construct a scheme that is similar to, to the GSW, but has a faster external product. We call this scheme NGS, and then we use the NGS to bootstrap a scheme that is based on the NTrue. So because both NGS and this scheme are based on the NTrue, this means that we construct FHE based only on the NTrue problem. We also used NGS to bootstrap a scheme based on the LWE problem. And this combination of LWE with NTrue gives us a scheme that is about 28% faster than TFHE and uses about half of the, the memory that TFHE uses. So the main uh, source of gain is the following. When we compare NGS with GSW, we have a scalar ciphertexts. In our case, it's just one polynomial instead of the pair of polynomials. In a, a full ciphertext, in our case, is a vector of polynomials with L polynomials, and in the GSW we have a matrix with with four times L polynomials, and because of this, the external product costs only L multiplications in our case instead of four times L. We have a proof of concept implementation in C++, and you can find it in this uh, GitHub repository. So, when we run uh, the TFHE. We, in our experiments, one bootstrapping uh, takes about 66 milliseconds. And then the two last rows here are for our schemes. So this, this second row is our scheme based only on the n true problem. And you can see that our run times are kind of similar, but they are uh, more expensive. However, when we, when we combined the LWE with the n true, we got uh, bootstrapping that is faster than TFHE is bootstrapping. So essentially the key material here, you can see that's about half of the key material of TFHE 
and the, the bootstrapping is about 28% faster. So if you want more information, please, you can check the, the paper. It's available in ePrint. And of course, if you have any question, you can contact me. Thank you very much.